Hey YouTubers, it's Brent from uh, Upper Corner Hockey. Um, today I'm going to uh, do a review on the Fly Puck. Um, they have three models. They have a four ounce, a six ounce, which is the same weight of a hockey puck. But I'm going with the eight ounce. Reason being, um, I feel if you train with this, uh, with your shot and whatnot, you'll feel like the puck is a you know, obviously two ounces lighter, so you'll get a little bit more mustard behind the shot, so it's a good training aid. Um, it's like kind of like lifting weights for your shot, so um, why am I doing this review? You know what? It's better I spend the money than you spend the money, so I'm going to test, test this thing out. I got five of them, so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Um, these aren't cheap, so, you know... You can get a lot regular hockey puck. I don't know what the exact price is, but uh, you can check out my uh, link below, and it'll give you all the information. So uh, let's open these things up and uh, go test them out. So, so the pretty open, easy packaging slides right out. You get a Jeremy Roenick fly puck tutorial. I have not yet seen this. But uh, I'm sure it'll give you some pretty good tips, which is probably worth some extra bank. And here's the fly puck. It's uh, made out of a really hard plastic. It's uh, cut out right here to uh, resist to for you know less resistance, uh, less friction when you're playing uh, and whatnot. I don't know if these are too great for outdoors unless you have like a a garage that's painted with like an epoxy paint or whatnot I think it would work pretty good there but the surface has to be pretty smooth otherwise it kind of bounces around um, that's the advantage of the uh, the green biscuit over something like this but if you have those shooting tiles this thing will be probably pretty awesome and plus it's got a good weight to it so you know that'll give you that uh, extra training so let's let's take it over and uh, do some shots Okay, the one thing I recommend is if you um, play ice hockey that, and you use wax, which I do, um, it's probably a good idea to retape your stick when you're practicing because um, you're going to get wax all over these fly pucks and it might, you know, hinder the performance. So uh, let me rip off this uh, tape and we'll do some practicing, see how it works. All right, we're back. Got a fresh tape job, so uh, let's check out these pucks. All right, we're back. We got uh, five fly pucks here. Um, not going to use all five at once, obviously. So uh, let's get this out of the way. Um, you can see these are the dry land tiles um, from uh, hockeyshot.com. You can uh, visit my link from uh, the below link and uh, purchase these tiles. These are great tiles. Um, I have them on top of my carpet. Um, if you see my videos before, you probably notice that, you know, it works pretty good. They're solid. They don't, they don't flex so much. Um, the seams aren't as tight as if it was on like a hard concrete. But anyway, we're not here to review the tiles. Let's review these pucks. So anyway, they slide great. You can see, you know, stick handling. Slide really nice. Um, here's a comparison to the green biscuit. The green biscuit works really well too. It's, uh, it's obviously a little lighter uh, than this because this is an eight ounce, and um, I don't know how many ounces this is. I'm sure somebody will post it below and correct me. But uh, that's how the green puck slides, and that's how that. So they, they slide. It's very comparable. I mean, like I said. This is eight ounces next to like, I think this thing is like four ounces actually. Um, but same kind of slide for, an, for a heavier, a lot heavier puck, almost four more ounces. So you can really, you know, do some stick handling, some toe drags, you know, works really well. You can do some passing with a rebounder. Um, like I said, good toe drags, it feels really good. So let's, uh, let's try it out on some shots. All right, now we're going to take some shots with 
the uh, eight ounce fly pot. Like I said, it slides really well. And, uh, so you can do a few drills with it. Um, you can set pucks up, go around it. You can also use a fast hands, which is great. But more on this later, which I'm not obviously that good on it. on this later but uh let me put my gloves on at least you get that it's always good to practice with everything that you're gonna wear I mean don't suit up with the gear, but... all right so we got to take some shots of this thing one thing that's great about it you know it's obviously heavier than your normal puck so you got your puck which they slap pretty decent on these tiles on these slide a whole lot better. really you try with the puck, and it kind of flips up a little bit, you know, it's hard to keep, keep that puck down, and next to the green biscuit, you know, it slides about the same, except that's a lot lighter. So anyway, let's take some shots. So the one thing good about this is that you're really going to, you're really going to work on shot um, it's gonna feel a whole lot lighter once you go you, know, you shoot this six ounce puck and then you shoot this guy is gonna be a whole lot slower it's gonna slide off a little bit so you gotta accommodate for that but you can really fire these things I wouldn't suggest getting these if you're gonna shoot them into a goal because if you hit them off the goal you're either gonna ding the goal uh, or crack these pucks as they are made out of hard plastic and uh, they're not really built for to last, but they're built to slide, so and obviously that's what they do. So, take a few more shots, and then take a, take a few shots with the uh, with the regular puck to see uh, see if there's a velocity change. And I missed that one. All right, so I'll take some shots with some four uh, six ounce regular official pucks. See if, uh, if I feel the difference. It really, I mean, they just feel like feathers now. You really feel the accuracy uh, in the shot. So one more in the green biscuit. For good so anyway, let's make back to the bench and finish this up. All right, we're back from uh, from shooting. You can t see that um, you lose a little bit on your shot, but not much. I mean, eight ounces, you would think, uh, what is two more ounces really going to give you? But it does give you, you really feel the extra ounces and the, and the, the weight of the puck. So it's very good for training, uh, building up your shot, uh, good for stick handling. Um, I found that it makes a world of difference for me, but, uh, you know, everybody's different. This is just my opinion. Um... But yeah, I mean, if you got a young hockey player, I'd definitely try, you know, I mean, really young, anywhere between, you know, 10 and under, uh, try the four ounce puck. Um, then you can build up to the six ounce puck. And then later on, as they grow up, you can try the eight ounce puck. Um, these has been around a lot. So um, they're obviously still going to produce these things. So you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, great product. Uh, I don't recommend these for outdoors. Um, they're, they're, like I said, it's a hard plastic. And these things, the green biscuit works a lot better because it has the uh, two separate plastic uh, devices. So when it hits, it kind of like shock absorbers over the, uh, the um, you know, the macadam. So, but if you have like a painted garage, like with epoxy or whatnot, these things will work great because you have a real smooth surface, a surface and uh, they'll work out really well. So... Anyway, definitely recommend shooting them into a tarp. If you're going to shoot, don't shoot them into a goal. You'll probably either crack these or crack your goal because these things are as hard as a rock. Um, they're built that way, so obviously they slide. So anyway, like, click, subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or whatnot on these, um, 
comment below. I'll try to answer as good as possible. Um, I think these things really have elevated my game. I feel my shot is a lot harder. Uh, it's got a lot more velocity on it because the puck feels a whole lot lighter. So, um, 